हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर स्पार्क सेशन बाय लाइम गुरु इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इज दैट हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल स्पार्क ऑन योर लोकल मशीन एंड इन द सेम सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दैट हाउ यू कैन रन सैम्पल प्रोग्राम यूजिंग द सेम इंस्टॉलेशन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो गाइज इन ऑर्डर टू डाउनलोड स्पार्क you need to head over to apache spark website so i'm just going to apache spark website just searching for spark download on google so the first site you will see is apache spark website spark.apache.org so i'll go to the download section for apache spark so here you need to choose which spark version you need to download on your local desktop so there are different versions you can see so i'll see i'll choose the latest version and then there are different spark builds available for different hadoop versions so i'm going to select hadoop 2.7 and then you will see on the fourth point you will see a download spark link so this link will say that you okay you are going to download 2.1.0 which is compatible with hadoop 2.7 so let's start just click on it and it will download the spark so this download will take some time i have already downloaded this file so let's directly jump over that file so in this folder you will see the same downloaded file is already there spark 2.1.0 and which is hadoop 2.7 build pre-built and this spark downloaded file is already there so next step is to untar this file so you can do that using the command tar minus xf spark it will extract the content of this zip file now you can see there is one more folder created for the spark so let's get in, get into this spark folder let's see the content so you'll see there are different folders present within this spark folder there are certain examples are also present for the spark so there if you'll see the examples folder there are different examples present and then in order to start the spark you need to go to bin folder let's go to bin folder guys uh, before we start the spark you need to understand that sub spark supports two kinds of shells one is pi spark another one is spark shell so spark shell if you want to write your spark programs using scala then you need to enter into spark shell but if you want to run your spark program using python then you need to run pi spark shell so these are the two shells which comes with the spark distribution which you can use for writing your spark programs so i'll show you both the spark shell that how you can i i'll show you both the shells that how you can enter in each of the shell so let's first get into pi spark shell so i'll I, I, currently I am in the bin folder for the spark distribution so this was the folder that I downloaded and I am inside the bin folder inside this bin folder there is a command to run pi spark shell which is pi spark and then enter so you will see that pi spark shell is getting initialized Is it's getting started so once you successfully enter into pi spark shell you will see welcome to spark along with the version using python version 2.7.111 okay guys so you have entered into pi spark shell here you can write your pi spark program i'll show you one sample pi spark program also but before writing the program let's see the scala version of spark shell 
so in order to enter into Scala version of Spark shell, you the command is Spark shell. Earlier you write, earlier you wrote uh, PySpark. Now you are writing Spark shell, and this shell is for writing Spark programs in Scala. Again, the Spark shell is getting initialized. Oops, there is one error. So guys, sometimes you might see that you will face errors related to database which is MetaStoreDB. So the way to correct this issue is exit from the Scala Spark shell. Go to bin folder. In the bin folder, you will see one entry for the MetaStoreDB. Just remove this entry. MetaStoreDB. And now start your shell spark shell this error should not come now the error comes when this db is already logged by the earlier initialization then we see those kind of errors but now we have removed that metastore db so this error should not come and yes so you have entered into scala based spark shell and you see welcome to spark version 2.1.0 and there is no exception coming up when we again initialize this spark shell so in this way you can enter into spark shell or pi spark shell based on what kind of program you want to write so the next thing we are going to cover is we are going to write one sample program using python in PySpark shell and scala in spark shell so first program i am going to write in PySpark shell so i have just written a simple program for the demonstration purpose uh, again there is error related to metastore db so let's delete this metastore db before entering into the shell now let's start the PySpark shell ok the error is not here so I have written some very simple program in python for PySpark what it is doing is so guys one more thing is like when you initialize a spark shell you get one default object which is a spark context we are going to cover spark context in more details in the later session but just think of it that you get this object using this object you can create your rdds we will cover more in more technical details about RDDs and what is Spark context in the later session. So this Python program, what it is doing is from the Spark context. Let's write the first line. So this is the first line. So what is it is doing is it is reading my text file input.txt, which is present on this location, and assigning to lines. So let's okay. This line has been executed. So now lines is pointing to file at this location data temp input dot text. Second line is to count the number of lines in this file. So I, I'll just do lines dot count. So it showed me three. Because there are three lines present in this file which we have given as an input to this program so another thing is like if you want to see what is the first line in the file it will say the first line is line 1 so this is the text written in the file that first line is line 1 second line is line 2 third line is line 3 it's just printing the content of the first line so this example is just to demonstrate how you can run your PySpark programs in PySpark shell. So we have successfully executed three lines of code where we just scanned a file, did the count of 
number of lines in that file and printed the first line so let's do the same program in spark shell which is the scala based version let's delete the meta store db again otherwise we'll get the exception now start the spark shell spark shell as i mentioned it's for scala based spark programs and guys again the similar code i have written for the scala version also so it reads the it see it reads my file at this input.txt location once the file has been read it does the count so again you see it has printed the count as 3 which is the same output when we delete for python version and I am going to print the first line in the file ok so first line is line 1 so both the programs have given the same output both as both the programs are doing, are doing the same thing it's just the preference of programming language that you want to choose I hope guys you understand how you can install spark on your machine and how you can run your python or scala based programs using spark in pyspark shell or spark shell we'll cover more topics and more details in the subsequent sections